Good morning. Nice to see you. Uh, uh, a wise preacher once advised me when you stand up and speak before God's people, he said, be brilliant or be brief. You know, this, uh, this morning we favor brevity. You know, founded four years before Thomas Jefferson authored the Declaration of Independence, uh, our old mission uh, today reaches its 250th anniversary this September 1st. Uh, and it's fair to say it didn't just appear one day uh, in its present configuration uh, or even on its present site. Uh, it was moved to the small hill it sits on after some early bouts with fire and flood. Uh, the original mission church was completed in 1793, actually more than 20 years after its founding. And it was simply the main wing, the one that you enter off of Mission Plaza. Uh, then within a few decades, what we call the Convento Wing, uh, the one with the columns along Mission Plaza, was extended out there to the left uh, as you face the mission. Uh, it was the residence of the Friars. Uh, it's now a museum and a gift shop, and it's always housed some form of a parish hall. Uh, now, what we call the Annex uh, is the church wing that extends to the right of the mission, sort of extending out to Choro Street. And it was constructed in segments beginning in the 1890s until it reached its present limit in uh, 1948. Uh, and then the last piece of the mission to be added also in 1948 uh, and visible along Broad Street, as you drive down Broad, is the current uh, parish office center built originally as a convent for the Sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary who founded the mission schools, Mission Prep and Old Mission, High, Old mission Elementary, uh, beginning in 1876. And one thing you'll notice about the earliest photos of the mission is that it appears to be encased in some sort of kind of a clapboard. Uh, after its first century of service, the original adobe and the plaster was badly eroded by the elements. Uh, Adobe uh, Realty was preserved in much the same way and remains so to this day with that clapboard over the original uh, Adobe. Uh, during the Victorian era, uh, an ornate bell tower was added and the mission took on the look of sort of a New England church. Uh, and it was only in the 1930s with a statewide mission revival that the boards were removed and the mission facade repaired and the original mission bells restored and it took on its, uh, its current look. Uh, unlike many of the California missions, uh, say Carmel and Soledad, for example, Mission San Luis never fell into complete disrepair. It has always served as the center of our community, as a place of worship and fellowship, even when used briefly as uh, uh, to board horses. Uh, religious services still continued in the rear sacristy area. Uh, and I think that's the point I always emphasize. Although it is a state historical site, it is not a state park or monument. Uh, although it attracts tourists and visitors from around the world and the nation, it is not principally a tourist attraction. Uh, it does what it was originally built to do and that is to serve the faithful of this community and the Central Coast. I, I like to say that a mission is a verb before it is a noun. Um, we have baptized and married and buried generations of families, and that's still what we do to this day. And if we can share some of that history and faith with our guests and visitors, well, so much the better. Uh, so during this auspicious year, we've hosted several events, a kind of Founders Day with workshops, music, uh, exhibits uh, featuring early California life. Uh, this past weekend, we invited the parishes of our area to a day of recollection, focusing on the spirituality of St. Francis and the Franciscan friars who came here uh, really literally to the ends of the earth from Spain to found these missions what in the world inspired them to do that? Uh, on May 1st, our music ministry will be hosting a free spring concert in the Mission Church. All are invited. And I suppose uh, my closing point is that all are invited to enjoy the mission all year and every year. I'm, I'm often surprised how many local San Luis uh, 
residents will say, you know, it's been years since they've been to the mission or the museum or, or they've never been into the gift shop. Uh, for two and a half centuries, the mission has remained the living heart of our community. Uh, we have many, many visitors, but we can always accommodate more. Uh, and I invite you to visit us. Thank you.